Um, my name is Mark Jackson, and um, I'm pleased to be invited to give one of the keynote presentations to open the conference, the Fair Transitions and the Politics of Land, Institutions and Imaginaries for Inclusive Futures conference in Utrecht next week. And um, I'm keen with my talk uh, to address some of the key questions that the conference is raising, particularly those around finding ways to make transitions and land transitions fair and inclusive. My questions, I think, are going to be those of the conference, um, which are, in particular, who's setting the terms of what counts as inclusion uh, and inclusion into what? Um, are the institutions and imaginaries within which diverse constituencies are being included fit for purpose uh, for the ecological and social environmental and economic challenges um, facing our planetary future? Um, I'm not and land transitions or land governance uh, specialist. I'm a theorist of post-colonial and decolonial geographies with an interest in political ecology. And I'm a human geographer. So I come to these questions uh, slightly from the outside and outside looking in, which I see as a strength for um, a keynote in the sense that I can perhaps ask questions from this perspective of the outside and to what I hope in my um, opening remarks to pose a few provocations for the conference to think with. And I'll, go, I'll be posing three provocations. One around how land is conceptualized um, and asking questions about uh, whose imaginaries and whose knowledges are used to conceptualize land and the politics of land. Uh, the second is that I would like to offer a provocation that land transition work is fundamentally uh, the work of freedom and freedom building through placemaking and place building. And the third provocation I'd like to pose to the conference is that in an effort to diversify and pluralize approaches to the politics of land, we need to shift uh, a governance approach to one of what's called pluriversality, where the politics of land and land governance is organized around a principle of incommensurability rather than a politics of commensurability to the institutional apparatuses with which we now uh, live, manage, and negotiate. So with those three provocations, I hope to sort of both touch on the questions of the conference as well as offer suggestions for thinking otherwise. And my participation with the conference, which I'm looking forward to, is to learn more about land transitions and land governance and the, the politics of ecology in our precarious and deeply challenging present.